You know, the one thing about this segment that I most regret is that I don't get to report good news often enough. But this week, I've got not one, but two slices of joy for y'all, and this first one is a biggie. This week, in a landmark decision by the Supreme Court, it was decided that the oppressive restrictions put on abortion clinics in Texas are, in fact, illegal. And this isn't just a huge win for women's rights. It's also a huge win in the fight against theocracy. Because regardless of how important an issue abortion access is to you, medically unnecessary, overly complicated laws designed by religious zealots to remove rights from people are bad for all sides, if we're being intellectually honest here. And look, Texas contains the second poorest area in the country. There are entire charities dedicated to nothing but getting women to the health care services they need. And keeping the few abortion clinics that still remain open isn't just good for women. It's good for all of us. And as if there's not already enough girl power in this story, by the way, take a second and Google Ginsburg's opinion on this one. She does everything but fart in her hand and cup it over someone's mouth. It's fantastic. So while we're all in such good spirits, let's switch over to something we can all agree on. Namely, fuck the Catholic Church and the asshole rapist that they protect. Because this week, two sisters have come forward to accuse Pennsylvania priest Charles Bodziak, no relation to Eli, of molesting them for years, beginning at one of their first communion parties. And for those of you who don't know, those take place all around their eighth birthday or so. According to the charges, Bodziak repeatedly molested the girls for years, telling them that what he was doing was okay because he was a priest. And while we have yet to see what the results of the trial are, I have a hunch that those rascally Duke boys are going to jump the General Lee over raping a bunch of kids again. After all, as disingenuously as he meant it, it's okay because he was a priest is also how the law often sees it. But wait, wait, I promised you two pieces of good news this week, so I'm going to end on a happy note here. And for me, there's almost no happier note than a kick-ass chick putting religion in its place, namely the garbage. Democrat Kara Pryor, whose brain is so large it's why people thought there was a second moon on Facebook this week, is running for Arizona State Representative as an open atheist. So when a conservative group called the Center for Arizona Policy sent her a survey making sure that she hated fags the right amount, this was her response. Quote, I am running for office to help fight the biblical-based requirements that women should be silent and subservient. I am running for office to show that women can serve equally without being affiliated with any ideological or religious organization. I am running for office to be the voice of all people in Arizona who are not represented by the current legislature for ideological or religious reasons. It is time to elect people who refuse to bow down to ideologues, religious lobbyists, or organizations that promote hate over humanity. It is time to elect people who are not looking for power or prestige but to serve the people of Arizona, regardless of political affiliation or religious beliefs, end quote. And in the spirit of pride and with the resounding yes, queen, I'm going to hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 